just me or does this a pillar trim like come off every like seven miles okay uh, i'm gonna just uh show y'all guys how to place these doodads uh this is a super easy job okay well i'm gonna assume if you're like me your a pillar is already off your vehicle um but that's usually what you get bunch of bunch of cracked cracked stuff um, and usually these can these pop right out pretty easy but uh, if they do not that hurts my delicate little fingers uh, so chisel works uh, if you could take the cover off this thing okay uh, screwdriver screwdriver work chisel work I have a chisel for a reason though you're gonna see that in a second uh, okay, so you want to just clear all this out, all right? Ooh. So I like to actually put my clips in the molding. Uh, I think that's the only way to do it. Put it in the molding, and then I whoosh, whoosh, right in there. Okay. So if you're a Land Rover owner, you probably know about these uh, these clips because they're everywhere. So I buy them by the truckload, right? And uh, I'll put a link in the in the uh, in the bio there. But these are the ones that I get. And listen, they're they're all bad, but these are the these are the correct ones. And you know they're right because they, you know, you want the Anger Rover ones. Definitely Anger Rover. Uh, that's how you know they're good. Okay. Let's crack into these puppies. Uh, you want also the rustiest blade you can find. All right. Um, yeah, so these are in like the door pillars. They're everywhere. Oh my God. This is a pack of 40. Uh, and uh, I feel like I go through like uh, two, two packs of 40 a year. But maybe it's just me. You know what it is? Like, and I have 256,000 miles on my car. And everything's brittle. It's brittle. It feels like me, brittle. Uh, so you pop these puppies in. Not so difficult. Okay. Pop. Come on, get in there. Oh, this one is. This one is not. My friend. Why? Oh, thank you. That's cracked. But we'll just, you know, pretend we don't see that. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's uh, let's move over to the front of the car. All right. So here's like the only part of this job that makes me a little uncomfortable. Okay. And that is that these clips, uh, you know, if this pillar came off for you, it means these things are usually still in there. Okay. And they are hard and they are brittle. And listen, I'll just save you the time if you're like, try to get a needle nose plier and pull them out. It's just not having it. It ends up leaving the little nipple in there, okay? So, I don't know if there's a correct repair method, but I take out my trusty chisel again, okay? And the part that makes me a little uncomfortable, actually, it makes me not uncomfortable at all. It might make you uncomfortable, uh, is that, you know, you can kind of, you know, scrape up your paint under here. Now, nobody's going to see it, uh, but you and I and the other 12 people that follow this channel. But, yeah, you potentially could uh, could scrape up your paint a little. So this is what I do. I take it, take the chisel, and I get the largest hammer I can find. Just kidding. Um, whoop. Okay. That's... That's my that's my strategy. Boop. Not too not too hard. And you you have to make you gotta go when it comes out. You gotta you gotta you gotta boop. You gotta do that. Okay. I know this is really exciting for you all, so I'm gonna point the camera down. Oh, that's not going great. Boop. 
Okay, and then this one down here, which you can't see. Oh, that flung right in my face. Okay. So that's uh, that's that's taking. That is how to remove the uh, the the broken clips. And then your next step here is uh, pretty pretty self-explanatory. Okay. I'm gonna come up here and. That's it. That is really it, my friends. That's how to change your A-pillar clips and your molding. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Look, got a got bonus footage here. Got a parcel. Let's see what's in it. Um, when I when I say I'm not even joking i don't really even know what this is but my degree my my level of confidence that it is something land rover related is like overwhelming because that's all i ever buy is stuff, stuff for Jeez, yeah yep yeah. see see what i mean what is it i know what it is you don't know what it is, but oh. wow, this thing is this thing is beefy, beefy. Oh, look, they gave me new hardware too. Um, so this is this is the uh, electronic fan pulley. Uh, is it a pulley bracket? It's just a bracket. I don't think it's, it's a pulley. Nothing pulls it. It's electronic. Uh, but mine, uh, the bearings on it are uh, starting to go. And uh, so uh, I think this was like a hundred and, I don't know, a hundred bucks. And I'm going to throw this on when I do uh, water pumps, belt, all that stuff. We're going to do that in... Uh, next uh next couple of days here so all right more to come talk to y'all soon